Previously on Dance Moms. Please welcome Peyton. And the trio is going to be Chloe, Maddie, and Kendall. I don't think she's replacing Paige. I just did. Getting on top of that pyramid is one thing. Staying there's another. If you're in that age category, I want you to win that age category. I thought that I was better than most of the people. For you all thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. You're going to kick her off to the curb? She came in here, had this snotty little attitude, and you back her up. Coming up on Dance Moms. I was wondering if I could come back today. It's just not that easy. I don't want small parts. I want big parts for my kid. We're off probation. Oh, get in line, girlfriend. Get in line. When can Kendall have a solo? When can Kendall be more You need to tell your mother to knock it off. She's going to get you in trouble. This Daddy, is about you. It. Chloe always you? being second. Chloe, you you're not second. You better not say that again. I cannot stand this bickering. If I have to lose somebody on this team to make it a cohesive group, I will do that. Bye. I invited Miss Abby to come out with me so I can tell her that I want to come back to dance. Cheerleading just wasn't my thing. Abby was really upset. I don't know if she's going to take me back, but I hope she does. So? Um, I tried cheerleading, and I was wondering if I could come back to dance. It's just not that easy, Brooke. You stab everybody in the back. You slap me in the face. She should have opened her mouth and said, let somebody else be at the top of the pyramid. She's screwing me. I can feel it. I just wanted to try it out to make sure dance is what I wanted to do. What my problem with that was that you didn't speak up and say something ahead of time. And I mean, you just didn't show up. You let a lot of people down. You let me down. I'm very torn about this decision. She let the team down. She has lost trust and Brooke broke my heart. My biggest disappointment, I think, too, would be that you just didn't want to dance. You have a God-given talent. Don't throw it away, honey. Brooke was born to dance, and I have invested my time and my energy into this kid. For it to go unnoticed and just disappear, I'm not gonna let that happen. I think you have a lot to offer to the team. You're gonna have to really prove yourself. Abby finally said she would be glad to have me back in the Abby Lee Dance Company. I was very happy, and I'm never going to let her down again. Girls, come on, let's go. Moms, in here. At this time, I would like to officially welcome Kendall. You're a member of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Here you go. I took Kendall off probation. She proved herself in the group. She proved herself in the trio. But you always have to keep proving yourself with me. It's not a matter of here's your jacket, kid. You're in for the rest of your life. No way. Now, listen to me. This doesn't mean it's smooth sailing from here on out. It means you really have to work hard. I'm not worried that Kendall is off probation because I'm just very confident in Peyton that she's going to really pull through and she's going to show. Abby, that she's a good dancer and she's a great performer. When you're wearing that jacket, she can't be all hunched over and slouching. So if you see that mom, you take a thumbtack and you stick it right in between her shoulder blades. Apparently, the greatest thing that's ever happened in Jill's life is that Kendall was off probation because she was just grins from ear to ear. She was like the Cheshire cat. We are going to Starbound Competition in Long Island, New York. Now, I'll tell you what, they are ready for us. They want to beat the Abby Lee Dance Company and they are serious. They're like sharks in the water. They can taste the blood. I'm not nervous because I know I can be as good as them. All right, now, Mackenzie, you did well with your solo the last time. You need to do even better this time. Nia, chosen for a special part. Your mom didn't want you to do it. Not a lot to say. Next, Paige. You didn't do a solo. You didn't do a duet or trio, so there wasn't a lot to judge you on. Kendall, you're off probation. You're a member of the team. However, we need to fix the feet, the turnout, the back of the knees. You still have a lot of work ahead of you, honey. Moving on. Maddie, did a great job. Won your category. Won the overall high score. But I have to keep challenging you. 
I know Maddie's a little disappointed with her spot on the pyramid, but I have to keep my thumb on that kid. She needs to work harder, because it's not always going to be this easy. And next I have Chloe. We're going to give them what they want. When Abby revealed the center row of the pyramid, and it was Chloe and Maddie, I was shocked. I didn't think Peyton performed well enough to be at the top of the pyramid. Chloe, when you walk backstage into those wings, you have to walk in there with arrogance and your nose up in the air just like you walk in this studio every day. Those other girls should be afraid of you just because you're Chloe and you're from the Abby Lee Dance Company. And on top of the pyramid <laughs> is Brooke. Abby unveils the top of the pyramid, and I thought, you get them, sister, because you left, and you went, and you tried out for cheerleading, and you still made it to the top of the pyramid. No offense to Peyton, but she towers over this dance team. She doesn't fit in with these girls. Now, my little Kendall fits right in perfectly. I know you all are wondering, how could she be on top of the pyramid? Not only is she going to do a solo this week, and not only should she win, I demand that you win. Peyton, we all know everyone is replaceable. You were not the right replacement for this group. You had a great experience. You saw the gateway to the West. You cannot be upset. She Blue has a right to be upset, Abby. You dangled a carrot in front of her and you just ripped it away. For what? For her daughter? to just come in and take a spot as a stranger, and for Brooke to leave and you take her back? Where is your loyalty? We have been so loyal to you. Loyalty. She stepped in. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a minute. Is loyalty, Kelly? We have been Let's loyal to her for so long. She left how many times have you said one she week. doesn't want to You left us. the studio a long time ago. How dare you? Our history. How dare me? Peyton got to go to St. Louis. She got to be in the competition. Peyton was on probation. She can't say anything nice. Don't say anything at all. So. You are still on probation. It was not about being on the team forever. Somehow her mother got that all twisted in her mind. You know what, Abby? If you don't want her, we will find somebody that wants her to compete on their team. Peyton, let's go. You can keep your candle, and you can keep the rest of your group. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. End of story. Brooke, you have the solo that you must win. Mackenzie, you have a solo. The group number, high energy. Everybody join us, everybody on your feet, everybody dancing. Have to be in this window, do it again. I want to see perfect jetés. Walk, walk, ja, te, da, da, da. Uh, this week's group up. number is called Avalanche. You know, let's just say it's about the whole world of cheerleading tumbling down. Go one, two, three, you're right, four, five. And I can't believe Leslie thought how I about, was going to be at the how? top. How? For Peyton. Are you kidding me? Why would you feel bad for her? Because she's she a got kid. a great opportunity. She's not a baby. Listen, my kid was in there. She's eight years old. She was on probation. She had to earn her spot. Apparently, when Jill got off of probation, it was really her mouth that got off of probation. Oh, I am so happy that Brooke is back. Me too. I am too. Oh, yeah. Poor Brooke. And she has to win or oh, she's done. I know. Sure. I think Abby is being very tough on Brooke. I mean, she puts her to the top of the pyramid and says that she has to win. Brooke hasn't danced in two weeks. She has four days to learn to dance. I mean, how much more pressure can you put on the kid? There yeah. is no way Brooke, sorry, should have been on top of that pyramid. There is no way! way. Job, no. Now that Kendall is off probation, I'm not gonna hold back my thoughts anymore. Personally, I think Maddie should have been on top because she won. Maddie also won because Abby spent all of her time rehearsing her number. She didn't rehearse the group number, she didn't rehearse the trio. The only thing she cared about was Maddie's solo. Sorry, Melissa, it's the truth. I'm calling a spade a spade. I have to say oh, that I'm glad the trio She's got win. a point. I, I knew that I was coming. I'm very happy that that trio didn't so win. The trio really didn't work well together. And if they had just one more week, I guarantee it would win the next time out. Kendall can do everything that those girls are doing. I'm disappointed that Kendall does not have a special part. Go. Maddie, you do it wrong. There's a hierarchy. There's a top of the pyramid, there's a bottom. There are different levels of dancers. Oh, yeah. You know that. Well, yeah, look at Holly, you know that. If you're trying to get me to say that my child is weak, I'm not going to say that. 
Jill has a tendency to say snide remarks about certain students. Um, usually it's Nia. It is very evident to me that she sees Nia as a, as a weak link, that she does not think she's a particularly strong dancer. And I don't care what Jill says. It doesn't matter what you say up here. What matters is what happens on stage. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. Put right. your money where your mouth is. I have no problem with that. Oh, but put Melissa, your money where your mouth is. What's that mean? You're going to buy her a big present? No, this isn't about presents. I think what she meant is, <laughs> bring it. I don't know what you do. Bring your oh, present on. Bring your present on. If she I'm gets still not buying her a present. My kid will get there on her own. She will bring it. Amen. I think the real Jill's coming out. And now that she's off her probation, we all better watch out. Can I see what we have? Yeah. Let's get through it. This week, Brooke has another acrobatic solo. The title is Starry Night. Dun, 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 stick. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. And it's kind of a space age theme. She portrays an alien from another planet, kind of like her mother. All right, can we try that? Cabriole, step, flick, flick, run, run, push, push. It's imperative that Brooke do well this week. She is on top of that pyramid. She's the oldest member of the group. She is the role model. And she came back with two weeks off. Push. Push. Good. Does she have what it takes? That's up to her. You're going to do Talk Arabian, Pike Arabian, Pike Split Arabian, walk over, face the back, Pike Straddle Arabian. My solo this week is called The Party Starts Right Now. My dance this week is acro. I'm good at acro. Talk. Sick on feet. I hate when kids sickle their feet. That is a big no-no. Look. Try to make it big. Go. Look. Look. Chest up. Mackenzie is always there at the studio. She works hard, but I want Mackenzie to be where Maddie was at seven. Tinsica and Shanae and Sit and Golly G, you've come a long way. You just learned to dance in 30 minutes. Leg out and kneel up. One, two, three, four. This week's group routine started out as kind of a play on cheerleading. It's fun, it's artistic, it's hot. Walk, strut, strut, walk, walk, strut, strut. In the group number this week, Paige has a special part. She's the only one on stage when the music starts, and Paige is just totally thrilled to have a special part. Did Kendall do her solo yet? It's not big, it's like a small part. Well, I don't want small parts. I want big parts for my kid. We're off probation. Oh, get in line, girlfriend, get in line. Jill was complaining because Paige had a special part and Kendall didn't. Wait in line, because my daughter never has a special part. Is You've got to work your way up from a background I dancer. thought, I thought I did. Are you kidding and it probably me? That's will all always I have to look forward way. to is yes. watching my well, kid you know, in the back. You know while how you get to the front? Maddie and Chloe are in the front doing their thing. Yes. Kendall can do everything that those girls are doing. And I think they're thinking, well, if Kendall gets it, then that means one of their kids won't. And it's starting to bother me. This you've had more than Abby one solo, says this. and you've had a trio. Every kid should have something special to feel good about. I, well, I think that we should just not watch anymore because it's really annoying listening to everybody bitch. But you know what? That's my that's my joy. This I is know, my hobby, like watching my kids. I know. It's I don't what like, I do. I, I would like never to not want to watch. I'd rather be shopping. I definitely like Jill. I don't want her to be a doormat, as everyone says I am. So I'm glad that she's speaking her mind. I've got to secure a place for Kendall. I can't stand to watch her in the back again and again and again. Kendall is off probation. I'm ready to fight for what my child deserves. Your backs have to be even on the floor, right? Like as much weight on top. Do you have a minute? Uh, is the group done? Yes, the group's finished. Chloe has a special part. Maddie has a special part. Paige has a special part. Can I ask why Kendall doesn't have anything? I thought she was taken off probation. I just did every other person. I would really appreciate if you could Maybe something. not tonight, but I know we have rehearsal again tomorrow. See what you can do. I know you're busy. OK, thank you. What was that mother saying to you? Asked me why Kendall didn't have a special part in the dance this week. She did not. She didn't. I hope Jill doesn't become a problem. Maybe she didn't understand that it's inappropriate to question a choreographer. I, I really, really hope 
that my daughter and her daughter didn't hear you talking about them to their teacher. I wasn't talking about them. Jill thinks that Kendall is the greatest dancer since Anna Pavlova. And that might have been true in her old studio, but you just walked into a studio that has a lot of talent. These kids don't mess around. Holly, pick a glass and let me pour you a glass of wine. I thought it was a good idea to have everybody come to my house and have a party to welcome Brooke back into the group. Okay. Oh, well, you get okay. the party's about to start. Hello. When Jill and Melissa walked in the door, the atmosphere went from like boop, 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 to <laughs> Here's to the pyramid. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, look, I'm the queen. Yeah. What was true. your conversation with Gia tonight? I said, how come every kid in there except Nia and Kendall had a special part? I just want to clarify, Jill, that when you come in and you're new, then you obviously start at the bottom. And so you need to work your way well, out. Do you think I looked bad asking? I really? I'm well, asking for something that I'm paying for, asking for something that every I other kid in there has. Wait, you I have a long history with your, mm -mm. for your child. There's a do long history nice there, Jill, that you have no absolutely. I don't want to have to do something nice. I think Jill's gift giving is a bit ridiculous. Work hard the old fashioned way. Don't try to bribe your way up the pyramid ladder. Well, let me ask you this, Christy. Would you do it if Abby asked no. you? No. If it got you privates, no. you want privates so no. badly, you wouldn't You wouldn't run tuition. Nope. Or whatever. whatever. You know what? For a I private? wouldn't because well, Abby I would. has asked me to make head. I but would. you know what, Jill? You're just like her. I think that Jill and Melissa are two peas in a pod. I think they both are after the same thing. They're going to kiss Abby's ass until their daughters get ahead. But it's not me, it's Abby. You need to talk to Abby about everything. Melissa works at the front desk for free so that she can have free privates and free dance lessons. She plays a certain game, and we don't play that game. Abby doesn't do anything, Melissa. We mm -hmm. know that. She sits there and goes, Melissa, do it. She's the one that schedules it. When people want it private, I forward it to her. No. Melissa is Abby's friend, and there is the root of all the tension among the dance moms. I just think everyone should be treated fairly. Exactly. It's blatant why your daughter gets everything, because you do everything in your power to get Maddie ahead. No, I don't. Yes, you do, Melissa. I, I don't think you should have to defend yourself for something don't. Abby gives your kids. I don't think it's Melissa's fault that Abby likes her kids the best. Let's face it, she does, so her kids get the privates. You make sure that nobody else has a chance well, because of all the things you do. Oh, please. That is such that's why I didn't want to come, so I'm leaving. Go ahead. We knew you would leave because you deflect everything. This. I don't argue because I'm not like you. No, you're not, Melissa, and I'm not like you, thank God. I can't believe that Kelly is allowing this to happen. Is this how you throw a party? Get out. Come on, baby. Why do you have to get you so personal about it? And I believe that if any one of you did what Melissa did and got the privates that she gets and had your child up top all the time, you would but feel we're the not same willing way to she do does. It. We're not willing to sell our soul to the devil to then get to the top of the pyramid. that's your decision. Jill is really turning this group upside down, and she thinks she can come in here and tell us how to be. Guess what? We can't do that. Hey, new girl. I gotta see go. See yourself out. I gotta go. Oh, thank you, Kelly, for your hospitality. You're welcome. It's amazing how things have changed once you're off probation. therapy is the best therapy there is. I love to shop, and so does Jill. And I think we both wanted to vent a little bit, so we thought going to a new little store would be fun. So are you good from last night? Mm. I was really, really upset. I was too. You know, I ended up storming out too. She's just rude. It upsets me because we were supposed to have some fun, and they had to attack me because they're jealous of my nine-year-old daughter. And I think it's ridiculous. Christy screams at me all the time, and you know what I do, I just sit there. Christy and Kelly gang up on her because Melissa lets them. I'm not gonna let them gang up on me. Jealous much? <laughs> I think it's obvious. I know she will do what it takes to get her kids to the top, but at this point, I have no reason not to trust Melissa. You're coming this weekend. Absolutely. Aren't you? I'm All not, right, so they're, they're not keeping me away. Don't you ever let them Heck no. push oh. you out. Mm, I don't want that. Okay. I 
definitely like Jill. She is so much like me, and we definitely help each other. So I think it's gonna be a real long friendship here. All right, okay. I'll see you later. Bye. I wish I could be in the group dance, but I really like my solo a lot. As a dance instructor, we have moments in our lives that make everything else make sense. When she nailed that routine, I just had a moment where this is why I do what I do. She made me cry. I made Abby cry because I did my dance really good. Not too many people make me cry when they dance. It was good. Go get a drink. She's not a little girl anymore. She's not a baby. She is now a dancer. I just had a moment where this is why I do what I do. Good, 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 good. Next. Brooke, let's go, babe. Come on, Brooke. Take two weeks off and you lost all that flexibility. I'm glad Brooke is back, but I'm not gonna let that kid off so easy. Coming out of that, you're choking. You have no idea what you're doing. Foot, top foot, don't sickle it. You can't be that sloppy in that layout step out. Yes? I have a lot of pressure on me this week with my solo. I mean, I want to be a role model, but I kind of just want to be me and just do my thing and dance. Brooke, I'm telling you what. I brought you back into this group. You should know this dance and now I'm making changes for you because you're running out of steam. This is called me using you. You're going to go there and you're going to win and you're going to make everybody else in that acro category go. <gasps> That's what I want to see. Understood? Is she still an important member of this team. That's up to her performance on stage at Starbound. And that's contemporary, right. So I want this not to be contemporary in the choreography. Hi. Can I interrupt you? I have a surprise for both of you. For us? Yeah, okay. I know you've been working really hard. Yes. And I want you to know that I appreciate your hard work. I oh, have a surprise in Studio C. It's a surprise. It is a surprise. Ooh. Whoa! You guys are getting personal massages. Thank you so much. From Abby. No one has ever done anything like this my whole entire life. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that Abby gets taken care of. No, I don't know. You've done this for us. Never. Kendall actually came up with the idea. I swear to oh, God. Really? Gianna, you put that Kendall right in the front. Perfect. Jill is very congenial. She's given me very nice gifts. She's doing all the right things. She's playing the game, but it doesn't make her kid a better dancer. This is something we could do on a regular basis if you were game for it. And you know, I hope in return that I am expecting good things for Kendall. Absolutely. What is going on? Like, why is the studio so empty? Where's Melissa and Jill? <laughs> Hi. Were you having a private? No, I wish. I just came through. Um, She's it doesn't me. pertain to you guys. Well, if it's nothing, nothing, it's tell none us. of your business. Just They're tell not. us if it was nothing. Abby is a really big advocate for, you know, pay me off, give me a gift, but this is taking gifting to a whole new level. That doesn't look like nothing. And that poor masseuse. Oh. How's that pressure, Abby? Fine. Good. Did you do that? Well, you know what? You guys, it really wasn't really your business. Yes, I did something nice for Abby and Gianna. Jill's trying to buy her way up the pyramid, and she's trying to buy Abby's friendship instead of you are the new person on the team. Pay your dues. Holly, this bothers you because you've been an absentee mom. <gasps> Let's face it. Let's face it. That is what it is. That and is I do not need Jill to reprimand me about my attendance. I'm a grown woman, and I do what I need to do for my children. I don't need to cheat to get ahead like some people, Jill. That's cheating? Yes, Are that's you cheating. cheating. I know crazy dance moms, you know? And like, we're here, you know, Melissa's here, and Jill's like a whole nother level. They're yeah. acting yeah. like little I came up with the idea, I would never do it. You know what? Get out of here. Hot, hot. I don't black, bitchy schoolgirl. 
I think when Jill first came to our studio, she was taking meds, and I think she ran out. You are buying Abby and Gianna right now. If you guys are OK with being second or last, that's your choice. It's not about you. Chloe is always you? being second. Chloe, you're, you're not second. You better not say that again. What? Where is Chloe? Going to Starbound in Long Island, New York. So there's going to be some tough competitors here. Why are we going this way? Are we getting on the turnpike? If you're getting on the turnpike, you're going the wrong way. Who is? The GPS isn't paying you. Where are you going? So this poor guy is just doing his job, and all of a sudden, he sees this black cloud coming at him. I am Abby Lee Miller. When I ride on a bus somewhere, you listen to me. Not the lady on the GPS, but the lady behind you in your ear. Oh, I should have listened to you then. There you go. I absolutely, positively, without a doubt, would do a better job driving this bus to Long Island, New York. Here we go. Brooke, you want to grab that bag? Paige, grab your book bag. Come on, guys. We arrive at Starbound, and we're their national champions. Good to see you. So when we come, we better be on our A game. She's good. Abby, she's going to stretch, even but though she doesn't have a solo or much to do this week. She's she's part like, of the okay, team, so we came. What? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you made her part of the team, even though she doesn't have much going yeah. on. You're busy with yeah. everybody else. I'd well, still like her to have. Yeah. to feel a part of something. I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure that Abby knows exactly what Kendall can bring to this group of dancers. I'm just Even trying to help my daughter. Even though you're on probation, my daughter. you're the new man on the totem pole. It's the Abby Lee Dance Company. If you don't like it, right. This is me trying to work my way up. Right. I will do what you tell me, but I'm asking you, when can Kendall have a solo? When can Kendall be more a part of what everybody else gets a part of? You need to tell your mother to knock it off. She's going to get you in trouble. I hope that she doesn't think Kendall being off probation is a free-for-all for her to give her opinions. When are you going to do Kendall's headpiece and worry about her costume? You're all worried about theirs. Let her dance. Brooke is one dance after Mackenzie. She has not run her dance with her. She didn't help her with the headpiece. She didn't look at her hair. You know what, Kelly? Be happy your child has a solo. She didn't shut even know. Shut up. This kid doesn't have a solo the same as you yours. You did not just tell me to shut up. Yes. I don't appreciate Kelly telling me to shut up. You don't tell anybody to shut up. He has a solo! I got nothing! Okay, well, last week, should I have complained because yours had a solo and neither yes, one of mine did? Like... I'm so tired of Jill stepping in where she doesn't belong. It's like she never stops talking. Brooke was no. not here. Stop. She came back. She got a solo. She's at the top. Be happy with that. Be I happy. just want her to know making her happy. She doesn't want to win. We're she used to be at the bottom. She doesn't want to be on the top. I need Mackenzie and Brooks coming. Okay. Okay. I'm looking forward to the competition this week. I think I'm going to do really well. I'm comparing Mackenzie to Maddie at her age. Melissa's like, they're completely different. Well, not in my eyes. They're sisters. Come on, step it up. Mackenzie is seven, and before she just did it for fun, and now I think she wants to really be good. I thought Mackenzie did a great job in her solo. I thought she was exciting. She was fun to watch. I think she's going to win. I have a lot of pressure on me this week with my solo, and I'm kind of nervous, but I'm going to give it my all. Number three, two, two, starry night. 
She needs to prove herself to me, to the rest of the team, that she is 110% back on board and wants to win. Was this her best performance? No. We love coming here because the talent is always amazing. <laughs> Junior Petit, if in second place. Come on up, number 229, my boyfriend's back, Cassidy. Come on up, top Junior Petit, 323, the party starts right now. <laughs> Who choreographed this for you? Bravo. Thank you for doing a great job today. Let's give it up for Mackenzie. I felt great when they said that the winner is me. I think I'm going to win a lot of competitions like Maddie. Yay, baby. Mackenzie made me very proud today. I definitely think that she has jumped a big hurdle and is going to follow in Maddie's footsteps. Our top 10 teen soloists. 287 is the score for fourth place. Goes out to number 1017, so that is Jenna, third place. Goes out to 322, Starry Night, that is Brooke. Abby, we dance company, come on up here. Abby said that Brooke had to win, and if Abby's not happy with it, then you know what? Replace her. Give it up, our third place teen dancer. I ended up getting third place with my solo instead of first. And I, I was really nervous that Abby was going to yell at me and tell me that I wasn't good enough for the Abby Lee Dance Company. <laughs> Congratulations! Yes. Brooke, I think you did well, considering that you danced two hours before the rest of those girls. Brooke rises to the occasion. When she knows she has to beat somebody, she dances better. I really think she could have won the whole thing if she would have given 100%. Girls, close your midsections, tuck your derriere under. You keep using your legs to jump instead of your core, your center. Understood? Yes. The solos are over. Now it's time for the group number. We have an hour to go, and I am not sure that they all know what they're doing. I'm actually going to borrow some lipstick, so Jill, if you would feel better if I borrow from you, I will. Would you like me to put it on you? I would love it. Oh, it's featured part of next week's dance. Maybe yeah. gifts don't work. Maybe, maybe helping will. So now Jill is going to be Abby's official makeup fixer, and it's going to be like putting lipstick on a pig. Do I need anything else? A little powder up here. Mm -hmm. Now who's kissing I'm whose butt? From you. <laughs> I watched Christy roll her eyes again and again at me, but I'm not sitting quietly anymore. And if it bothers Christy, let her eyes roll out of her head. I'm doing what I need to do for my child. Is that a full moon? What's going on? <sighs> Do this. That means yeah. weird things are happening. Well, just once. I mean, like oh the other God. night when you, when you badgered that Melissa right out of the house and then kicked me out of Kelly's house. I didn't badger anybody. I was just speaking the truth. I did not badger anybody. No. And you know what? It wasn't just me. It you was... know what? Can no, I tell can you I to shake? Sh Everybody stop. Christy's talking. No, you... Be quiet, Christy. Shut up. How do you like? How's that feel? Jill, you don't let anybody speak because you never shut your mouth. Jill needs to learn that she's new on this team, and if she's going to make it, she better. Sh hey, babe. Hey, we're going to rehearse in the hallway, guys. There's a Good. big space out Thank there. Thank you. Come on, guys. I don't know what's going on in this room. I'm glad the girls left, because I'll tell you what, some of the language and the yelling, they get upset, they get worked up, and as much as you guys think that you're an advocate for your kids, you're sticking up for them, 
they don't want to see their mother and their teacher fight. I agree. All right, so whatever's going on in this room, fix it. I'm going backstage. And but they will say your prayers. You are going on in 20 minutes. Some of these numbers, these kids have been working on since the middle of August. I talked to their teachers. You've had this dance for four days. The group didn't win last week in the overall high scores. And I know they want to be first. You guys are the national champions. There were all these complaints that somebody didn't have a special part and blah, 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 blah. This is about the group. It's a team. And when you're in a Broadway show, it doesn't matter if your part is this big or if you have one line. And when you step out on that stage, you own it. Understood? Let's do it. This week, we're doing a dance called Avalanche, and it's like jazzy, ganky, and I think that all of us are really good at that. I'm really happy Brooke is back, and I think we'll do what we do best, and that is win. <laughs> This is number 320, Avalanche. number because they came out and they were sassy then they're choking themselves did I miss the memo Very nice job. They could always have more energy, more attack, more enthusiasm. Top junior groups, are you ready? Here we go. Third place today, Car Wash, Royal and Oba. I think I did really good in the group number because I did everything the best I could and I didn't really mess anything up. And I think we might win. Top two. Both of these groups are 290 or above, and it's not easy to get a score of 290. In second place today with a score of 290, it's going out to 320 Avalanche. Abby Lee Dance Company. Come on up, ladies. The group didn't win. Hey, we were in Long Island, New York. Those kids have soul and the heart for dance. Some of my kids do, and some of my kids don't. And they better get it real quick. Congratulations, a great score today. Fantastic job. Oh, wow. Good job. 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 This is two weeks in a row that we didn't win. Second is the first one to lose. You're the biggest loser on that stage, and that's not going to happen to the Abby Lee Dance Company. You just need to be better dancers. You need to outdance everybody. Coming in second is not losing. They did their best, and their best just wasn't good enough this day. I don't know, what did you all think? They did it really good, and their really good wasn't good enough to win, and that's kind of depressing. Next week, you either win big or lose big, but don't be second. Now that I have the kids out of here, I just want to make sure when I left earlier, I had said something about the vibe being off in here. There's a tension in the room, something's out of sync. And I suspect I know what it is. We're not connected and we're not cohesive. And that strain is becoming very apparent to everybody. Jill, you're not on probation anymore. I understand that. But earlier, it was on and on and on about how come your kid's not doing something special. Abby Lee Miller was not put on this earth to make your kid feel special. Understood? It's about getting these kids to where they need to be. Jill doesn't know it, but she just put herself on probation. If she opens her mouth one more time, 
and starts bitching about something. She is going to be walking right out that door, never to be seen or heard of again. I cannot stand this bickering. If I have to lose somebody on this team to make it a cohesive group, I will do that. Do you understand? Yes? I left a great studio. I was perfectly happy where I was. I've done nothing but try to get along, and they've done nothing but beat me down. I'm sick of it. I'm here to take care of Kendall. That's fine, Jill. You guys have all this history with Abby. Have a lot you of history. and her are the first to and tell me that. We are a very cohesive team. And we have been. Well, you know what? We Maybe I don't fit in the team then. You can't for one second say, I understand. It must be hard to come in with, with four really strong personalities and Abby. You know, no one gave me or Kendall any credit for wanting to be a part of this team. And all you do is come down on me nonstop about anything I try to do to get Kendall more a part of the team and be a part of it. So maybe we're not a part of the team. They pushed me out of that door, but I'm not leaving. I'm coming back with my guns drawn. They're not gonna shove me out anymore. <laughs>